Making an exhibition is like starting a conversation with the place and um, with the future visitors. And in the present case, it's a, it's a conversation that I start with the museum and especially with Noam, the curator of the exhibition, about how to present the work in the Helena Rubinstein Pavilion. There is a new piece which is called Holly Wall. It's a reinforced concrete wall, a rendering of uh, different parts of the score of Should I Stay or Should I Go, um, of The Clash, which is also the basis or the starting point of The Clash and Tlatelolco Clash, which are two works which are like twins. They are independent, but yet they share a lot in common. in the doll drum, it's acoustic drums, there is a concealed speaker inside and the speaker plays all the low frequencies played in the other floor by the two films. The, the speaker it influences the skin of the drum and the skin of the drum makes the drumsticks play. So as they bounce back, they produce the, the, the new sound. Breathing line is a score for a humming based on a composition of Tchaikovsky. It's not only the notes, but it's also the tempo of it, and the tempo depends on the way how the scores are unfolded in the space. So it has a relation to time, but also a relation to space. And very often in the case of my work, time and space, they are interconnected. On the top floor, it's the combination of Project Ravel, Ravel, Unravel, which is two twin works of pairs. The first one is based on two uh, different uh, executions of the same piano and orchestra concerto of Ravel, commissioned by Paul Wittgenstein uh, when he had lost his right hand uh, during the First World War. So it's a piece written for the left hand only. In the current installation, we have two pianists, each of them playing, uh, executing the same concerto, but there are tempo differences which produce this effect of space because there is the, the space which is in between the differences of the two executions. And then, Further on in the exhibition, we arrive uh, in the second part of Unravel. The first part is just here, a DJ, Chloe, she is mixing together, trying to reduce the differences and trying to bring Ravel back to itself. Uh, so in a way, the whole exhibition is a lot about being in sync and out of sync and, uh, and the space produced in between and uh, as well as in, my, in the way how I conceive and I'm interested in making an exhibition is not so much about exhibiting well each of the works but it's about exhibiting the space in between the works. <laughs> 